Using a suitable miter saw or chop saw or tube cutter designed for plastic, cut the pipe square, making sure to remove all burrs and loose material. Do not chamfer. Using 60 grit emery cloth, prepare the end of the pipe by removing dirt and oil and roughing up an area equal to 1.5 times the fitting socket depth. It is important to obtain a good bonding surface. Clean the roughed up area with ethyl or isopropyl alcohol to ensure complete removal of grease and residue. Once the pipe is treated, do not handle this area of the pipe or allow it to get dirty. Visually inspect the fitting to make sure it's not damaged in any way and also clean the inside of the fitting socket. Next, insert the pipe all the way to the stop at the bottom of the socket of the fitting. Then, loosely fit the IPEX supplied clamp over the hub of the socket to be fused. When attaching the clamp, it should be positioned flush with the edge of the fitting. Remember to inspect the clamp to make sure it is not kinked or damaged. Inspect the oil impregnated brass bushing. If it is cracked, it needs to be replaced. The clamp must then be tightened sufficiently to prevent the pipe from rotating inside the fitting. Wheel handle clamps should not be used. A tight clamp is essential to the quality of the joint. It should not be possible to rotate the pipe inside the fitting socket when the clamp is fully tightened. Once the clamp is tightened, turn the infusion handheld control unit on and observe the copyright message and the software version being displayed as the machine runs a self-diagnostic test. Following the connect leads and fittings instruction on the display, connect the output leads. If required, connect link cables for multiple fusions. Once the leads are connected and you are ready to begin the fusion process, press start. Time will begin to count down to zero. Machines that have not been updated will require you to select size. IPEX recommends the use of the 3 inch to 12 inch size range for all fittings regardless of size. Example, 1.5 inch fittings should use the 3 inch to 12 inch selection. Upon completion of the fusion cycle, an audible alarm will sound and the message fusion complete will be displayed. A 30 second rest period must be observed to allow the joints to cool before disconnecting the leads. The infusion machine will automatically reset, ready for the next operation. Allow five additional minutes before removing the clamps so that the joint can sufficiently cool and properly cure.